Welcome to the Jeff Crilly Show. And now, here's Jeff Crilly. Welcome back to the Jeff Crilly Show. We've been uh, talking a lot about nonprofits and giving back and making a difference. And uh, my final guest uh, of the Jeff Crilly Show this hour, Allison Kikafer Zimmerman. Welcome to the Jeff Crilly Hi, Show. Thanks for having me. I'm great. glad to be here. Okay, you are the CEO, that's Chief Event Officer for the Event Lounge, and you have something called SIP. Tell us about SIP. Yes, absolutely. Well, um, the Event Lounge is a event production company that's headquartered here in Richardson, Texas. And we've been in business for about 10 years. We do a lot of really fantastic events. But about a year and a half ago, uh, I was engaged to a fireman and I was watching all the sensational life-changing differences he was making for people on a daily basis. And I felt like that was one thing that was really missing from the event career for me. And so I approached my team and asked them what we might do to be able to give back, you know, because events set up and they strike and most often people are paying money to go to them, but there's no real Uh, mark that we leave on society after that event happens. And so I approached my team about a lifelong dream I had had to create an event that would give back. And so I knew that we wanted to do something, but I wasn't really sure how to go about doing that. So we we investigated starting a 501c3, Mm -hmm. and I had heard from several other business owners that when you have a for-profit business and a 501c3 that run in companion with each other, that often your for-profit ends up existing to fund your 501c3. Mm. So we were looking for creative ways that we could partner up with an organization and give back. And so we created a board of directors, which is called SIP. It stands for Stand, Inspire, and Provide. And it's basically a group of professionals in the Dallas-Fort Worth area who have band together to leave a mark in our community. Mm -hmm. And we align ourselves with the 501c3 in 2015. And again, in 2016, we've partnered with Share Our Strength, No Kid Hungry. And we raise money through a really fun happy hour event. And we give every single dollar we earn back to that organization. So in 2015, we raised $11,000. And we are on target to raise $20,000 in 2016. So it's exciting. It is really exciting. And you have an event coming up. We do. Absolutely. It's Thursday. It's happening at Noah's and Richardson. And uh, the greatest thing about this event, Jeff, is that every single piece of it is wholly underwritten. So we don't spend one dollar to produce this event. That's awesome. We have local caterers and restaurateurs, breweries, distilleries, wineries that are coming out and they're giving their services and their products so that people can have a great time. They pay $30 for a ticket. We call it a bottomless Sips and Bites happy hour. Mm. It's a casual event. We're having a really amazing band. Walton Stout Band is coming out to play. Uh, It starts at 530, and it turns into just this really amazing night of fellowship and people trying to figure out how they can leave a mark on the community. And sometimes it's hard because you get busy. There's so many negative things happening in the world right now, and you want to do something, but how do you do that? Because you can't always carve out the time. So for three hours and $30, you can attend this event. You can eat, you can drink, you can win some great raffle prizes, and you can leave, you know, knowing that your $30 fed 300 children. $1 feeds it provides 10 meals for kids right here in North Texas. Wow. So that's really ex- exciting stuff. What's the website for the, for the event? It is www.giveandsip.com. I love it. Well, as an entrepreneur, uh, it must feel good to know that you're doing something that, that benefits others. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I, I don't think we realized when we started it how much of a massive time commitment it was going to be. I have um, a director of marketing. Her name's Mackenzie House. She has pretty much shifted gears and dedicated her entire position to supporting this. Mm. Um, You know, it it has been a full-time job for her and for the rest of my team. But you know what? The rewards of it. And, um, you know, I have an 11 or 12 and 13-year-old stepsons, and they wear the Share Strength No Kid Hungry bracelets. I didn't give those to them. They receive them at school because this program is feeding kids in their schools right in Plano, in an area that you would never think hunger exists in. And they have friends who tell them all the time, I get to take a backpack home and share a strength. You know, they're the ones that that are doing that. It's just really amazing. And, you know, if we don't start taking care of the children in our country, 
and they're going to school hungry every day, we're setting ourselves up for failure. Hungry kids cannot pay attention in school. Right. You know, and I know that I was blessed and my children are blessed, my stepchildren. You know, we can go to the refrigerator anytime we want and get something to eat. If we're driving down the road and we're hungry, we pull in somewhere and we have dinner. There are so many people right here in our own communities that don't have that privilege. And, you know, it feels good to be able to do something about that. The board of directors is just a really sensational, sensational group of people. They're all young professionals, um, you know. And if you go to the website, you can see every one of them. They're all rock stars, in my opinion. And they've dedicated time and attention and dedication to this. And now all we need, because the event is set up, it's going to be amazing. We've got a wonderful food selection and a wonderful booze and wine and beer selection. Great band. Now we just need the people. <laughs> so, you know, the tickets are selling, but there's always room for more. So we hope that people will consider reaching in their pocket, 30 bucks, three hours of your life, and you are going to make a difference for some kids here in North Texas. I love it. Well, let's let's uh, let's plug some of the people who have already, um, you know, sponsored you sure. or come, come behind yeah, you. Yeah, absolutely. Like, who are some of the people that you want to? Tito's Vodka. Okay, They're awesome. one of our headline sponsors this year. So they came to the table not only with product, but also with a nice sum of money. That's so cool. that's been awesome. Zoe's Kitchen. And both mm, of these folks lovely. are second year sponsors for us. So it's nice that we've built some momentum Huge. and people are returning. We also have a Garrison Brother Whiskey. We have Steam Theory, which is a small brewery that's starting um, here in Dallas, and they're going to come out and do some beer and some food. Uh, I mentioned Walton Stout Band. They do a really fantastic job. If you've ever been to an event where Walton Stout Band has been playing, it's the highest energy. It's going to be just such a fantastic night. We also have Pinky's Valet. They're a second-year sponsor, and they're going to be valeting cars for us. Um, Quest Drape. And I know Rob Keating was a guest yep. of yours right. uh, a couple weeks back. They came on board with a cash sponsorship and product and some manpower to really help us make it sensational. And then I'd be remiss, of course, if I didn't mention all the folks on my team at the Event Lounge who just – some of them are on the board of directors. Some of them aren't. But it has become a family affair for us to make sure that this is uh, a successful event. So – Everybody, people from all ages are going. I know my 80-year-old mother who uh, is probably <laughs> listening. She bought her tickets. I love um, it. There are people who are, you know, millennials that are going to be there. It, it's an event for all ages, and it's just a super fun time. So we well, hope everybody will consider I, coming I out. always love to hear people's stories. How, how did you start the event lounge? Well, actually, it's, it's pretty interesting. It's a bit of a somber story. My father was suffering from lung cancer. He was in hospice. And... Um, He looked at me and he said, you know, Al, I I see great things happening for you, but there's one thing that's holding you back. And I said, tell me what you think it is, Dad. And he said, it's you. He said, it's you. If you would take the leap of faith, I can tell you that you would be a great business owner. And I looked right at him and I said, but Dad, how do you get health insurance? And he got the biggest chuckle out of that. He said, if that is your biggest worry, you're going to be just fine. So uh, we sat together and jotted down some, some notes and some ideas and um, my first small business was born. It was called AK Productions. I later rebranded to the Event Lounge. I had $250 in my pocket. Wow. Uh, I worked out of my guest bedroom. And on a leap of faith, I took the knowledge that I had and the relationships that I had built after 20 years in the industry. And I went out and decided to try to sell people my passion for flawless events. And, you know... Ten years later, we're we're still at it. So, do you remember your first event? You, I do absolutely. Because when she called me, it was for a healthcare company. When she called me to award me the piece of business, I thought I had put her on hold, uh, and I squealed <laughs> like crazy. I came back on the line, and she said, "You thought I was on hold, didn't you?" And I said, "Yes, I did." And she said, "Well, I wasn't." And I said, <laughs> "And you're sure you meant to call me, correct? You you called Allison. You know that, right?" I mean, it was a pretty good size event. It was a Halloween party, and that was my first event that I did. Um, it was a corporate Halloween party. It was in San Antonio at a big hotel on the Riverwalk, and it just kept going from there. And, you know, my dad had told me before, and he passed just 10 days after I uh, agreed and promised him that I would start my business. So he said to me, you know, Al, it's going to take one piece of business. I will watch and orchestrate from above and make sure that it happens. And he said, but you have to believe in yourself, and you have to know when you can't do something and recognize when you have a shortcoming and fill that with some powerful people. And he said, you're only going to be as good as the people you surround yourself with. And I'll be darned if I don't have the most amazing team now. There's a, there's over 10 of us, and 
we're doing right, you know, gosh, we're doing just event after event after event all over the country and the world. And, you know, we've got less than a minute left. Do you feel your dad smile? Do you? you yeah, I do all the time. Very much so. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I think he would be proud of SIP. I really do. He, he loved food. He loved booze. He loved a good time. This kind of rolls all those things into one. And we hope everybody will come out. www.giveandsip.com. And we hope we'll see you there this Thursday night. Just $30. Love it. Allison, thank you so much. Thank you. And that's the Jeff Curley Show. We'll see you next week.